Okay, so knowing how horny high school kids get and honestly, just how like competitive we are once we get into the scene of, you know, doing the devil's tango. I don't blame you. So obviously my solution for this back in high school was friends with benefits. And the way this happened was insane. But before we get into that, this video is sponsored by Soul Trees to help save the environment and give back to you guys. Soul Trees are 10,000 unique NFTs on the Solana blockchain. And they partnered with an organization called One Tree Planted that will be planting 10 real trees for every soul trees minted and sold not only will one of you guys be getting a free 300 and planting 10 trees in the future you will also unlock different features and rarities with your tree online you will also be able to see real life information about your trees and also look how cute these are who wouldn't want one make sure to join the soul trees discord and follow them on twitter in order to win a 300 soul tree and help save the environment the links are in the description down below oh and by the way the more active you are in the discord the more $300 giveaways they'll be doing until their official launch on September 21st at 6 p.m. EST. See you guys there. Now back to the video. So this story takes place back in high school. This was my grade 11th year. I wasn't anything special. Like I was generally just a basic kid. I'm going to be honest. And at this time, I'm not going to lie. I did slay a couple women. Like this was a true fact. I slayed a good amount of women by grade 11. It was fun. I want to say I was at around 30 notches. Now, obviously my grade 11th year wasn't the best though. Cause I'm going to be honest. I was kind of slowing down ish. Like I always got tired of trying to meet new girls and it just got really boring and at the same time like it was just not a thing i wanted to do but of course every person has an urge to do something it's common sense either you're addicted to nicotine getting laid drugs you know everyone's addicted to something and not saying that i had a devil's tango addiction like that's not the case at all let me just make that clear real quick but it was more in the feeling of like how do i explain this i don't like being alone and i don't know i guess you know just doing it is i don't know i can't really make an excuse for it let's be real here guys so like i was saying I was in high school and I remember I was going into my grade 11 science class. If you guys don't know, I took science because it was like an actual class we had to take just so we can graduate. And I remember as I entered science class, I didn't really have anyone to talk to or kind of hang out with because I'm going to be honest, I took biology science while all my actual friends took chemistry, which don't get me wrong. I guess, you know, science is science, whatever. But obviously, if you guys all know, biology is the easier course compared to chemistry because I'm going to be honest, I don't want to go through why, but you guys know. But going on, I remember. I remember I walked into that classroom and I ended up seeing this girl sitting down and this girl was sitting alone. I was guessing she was like a transfer or something. I'm not really sure. She was a really nice girl who was outstanding. She looked great. And I remember I walked up and sat beside her. Apparently this girl was like a new girl, not really like fully new, new, but like she really didn't have any friends or she was just really not that social or whatever. And at the same time, I was just being a nice guy and I didn't have anyone else to really talk to. So I was like, screw it. Like, I'll do it. I'll talk to you, whatever. And I sat beside her and we were just talking about, you know, how like we both enjoy playing video games and that's really it to be honest we didn't have that much in common and then i got her snapchat we were just chilling and then the science class officially started so when science class started i remember sh the teacher was explaining how like these are our partners for the rest of the year so me and this chick were automatically like partners and it was kind of funny because me and her were like looking at each other we're like okay like yeah we can do this whatever you know hot chick interesting weird guy aka me it works whatever and over time she ended up giving us projects back to back and science class was like officially like one of my favorite classrooms because I'm gonna be honest, you know, I feel like everyone gets this jitty feeling when you go to school and you like you have this crush on someone, it makes you want to go to school even more. Well, in this case, for me, it was like this girl was kind of hot, you know, she had a nice rack, so you know, I'm gonna go to school more. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, it's kind of a dumb excuse, anyways. Like I was saying though, anyways, one day I remember we didn't end up finishing our lab together that we had for one of our science courses. I'm not really sure what. All I remember is that it like took us like more than a day to finish, and I remember she invited me over to her house. And I'm not gonna lie, like the fact that she invited me over was kind of interesting like she like she knew me well don't get me wrong we did like already like 20 labs together at this point and we always finished it in class but the one time when we actually didn't finish it in class she invited me over which i was thankful for and i was you know happy about she was nice about it and i remember how she was telling me how like we got to get this done and everything and i said okay i'm down so i told her like just to snap me whenever like you know I'm, you want me to come over and as i was home kind of just doing my own thing watching tv and just sitting on my couch like a nobody because let's be real here i don't think many good games were out at the time I don't think. Usually I'd be playing video games, but anyways, I remember she snapped me on her phone saying, hey, you can come over now. And in my head, I'm thinking, okay, like I'm down. Like that's, that's, that's lit. Like I'm going to come over. Let's do this. So I remember I went over and as I went over, she told me that her parents weren't home and everything. And like, you know, we have like the whole living room to do the science project. And I was like, okay. And as we're doing the science project and talking about, you know, life and everything and how we do things, I realized 
that there was more to this girl than just our science labs and how hot she was. Like, she was a really actual, like, genuine person who's been hurt a lot from other guys. But at the same time, she always told me how, like, you know, she was kind of, like, weird or whatever in a way. And she told me how, like, no guys actually ever satisfy her. Now, when a girl says that, I always feel like, what does that mean? Like, does the, like, like, I didn't understand what she meant full on. So I remember asking her, wait, what do you mean, like, no guy satisfies you? And then she got into this whole talk about how, you know, no guy is able to, like, make her finish and, like, like no guy makes her satisfied during the devil's tango. And at that point, bro, I was feeling so competitive. I was like, you know what? Like, I got this down. Like, watch me. So I remember I was talking to her and we were talking back and forth saying, like, you know, just talking about how good we are at doing the devil's tango. And as funny as it is, you guys are maybe cringing laughing at this, but I'm gonna be honest. People do have these conversations. Like, it's a genuine thing to have. You guys can call me weird now, but as you guys talk to people and women and stuff, you will see it yourselves. And yeah, from there, I remember we ended up doing the devil's tango. And it just kept going and going. And then once we stopped, we realized that we didn't end up finishing our science project. So it was like a really awkward situation. And then as we were just laying down saying like, we should probably finish our science projects. Like this is really awkward and stuff like that. She was telling me how she actually enjoyed the one time we actually did it. And then she wanted to do it again. But at the same time, she told me how she didn't want me catching feelings for her, which at the time, it's not really a thing. Like I said, I was bored and I was just tired and stuff. And I'm, I'm honestly was never really looking for a good relationship at that age. Cause let's be real here. High school relationships don't don't last unless you like high school sweethearts so one thing led to another and i remember telling her like what if we just did it for fun you know just friends with benefits it like screw it she agreed and she was like 100 down for it and she's like that's awesome like that's a cool idea which was probably the first time because most girls aren't into that but i guess she was but she told me that she wasn't sure if i was gonna catch feelings or not and i said i'm willing to make a damn contract about it now if you guys don't know contracts are super important in this world they literally determine what's gonna happen what has to happen and make sure that you know things go the way it should. So I remember me and her wrote a contract and there were basically three rules. Rule number one is whenever one or the other really need to, you know, do the devil's tango, you would only go to that one person. So, you know, you don't catch anything. Second rule was that no feelings can be crossed upon each other. Like zero, no feelings whatsoever. Zilch, just pure devil's tango. And the final rule, and of course the golden rule was that if you were about to go into a relationship or you found interest in another person, you would have to cut the contract and finish it and make sure to inform the other person just in case, which I found totally reasonable. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. You know, people move on. So I remember we both signed that contract that day in her place. And one thing led to another. We were doing it all the time. This lasted for a couple weeks, I want to say. And then eventually I remember one day she came up to me once the semester was almost over and science was over. And she was telling me how, you know, we did our time and everything, but she was falling interest into another person. Obviously, I'm not going to lie. It was kind of like a kick in the gut. Because, you know, it was awesome doing things with her. But, you know, at the same time, good things do fall apart. And I'm not quoting the John Bellion song, by the way. Now, one thing I want to mention is that girl streamers are never to be trusted. I'm not joking. You should never, ever, ever, and I mean ever trust a girl streamer. And as crazy I may sound right now, trust me, this story will tell you why. But before I get into that, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Seriously, it means a lot when you guys do. And honestly, if you guys want to hear these stories live in action, join in on me streaming live on kick and telling crazy stories like this one live, because obviously it's more embarrassing. And on top of that, just why not? Anyways, let's get straight into this insane story. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba, and welcome back to another insane story. So today's story actually happened back when I blew up on YouTube. Um, This was when the channel just started recently growing, and honestly, I wanted to keep the story a secret, but I needed to tell it. Because, I don't know, something about my gut just feels like making these videos is the best way to rant about my really, well, crazy life. Anyways, I remember back when I was blowing up on YouTube, and you guys were really enjoying these videos, which I still hope you do pressing that like button would prove that i remember what ended up happening was that i started meeting a lot of other creators now when youtubers start growing on youtube you start networking and networking leads to meeting other creators and other youtubers that also kind of do the same thing you do but one thing i never got into a lot was the streaming realm now i know what you guys are saying your name is bubba streams and you do stream sometimes i'll tell you this much i am first a youtuber before a streamer now i know it sounds weird but i used to stream a lot more back then so that's why i made the name bubba streams but now just call me bubba going on though i remember basically when i was networking one thing i got to talk to was a bunch of girl streamers because obviously i told stories about the devil's tango and a lot of girls were interested in seeing if my stories were real and obviously when i told them they were they would really well 
be in shock. But I remember there was one streamer I ended up meeting that was actually really cool. When I first met her, she seemed like a genuine person. She would always do these like really funny streams online. And when I finally got to meet her in her Discord, I remember I said, oh, hey, like what's going on? I ended up basically making fun of her and stuff. And, you know, basically did the humor where basically I didn't sound like a simp. Because I'm saying this right now, guys, if you watch a girl streamer and you act like a simp, they're going to treat you like a simp. They won't see you as any more or any less. So I remember me when I first got in there, I didn't act like a simp. I act like a genuine person that just wanted to get to know them. I didn't ask any sus questions. I didn't ask anything weird. I was just being normal. And no, I was not tier three gifter or number one gifter in her stream because that's also really cringe. But I remember I was talking to this girl and she actually somehow was actually somewhat interested in me as well. Not right off the bat, obviously, but she started asking me questions and I started, you know, talking to her and we actually ended up having a genuine conversation. The point where she added me on Snapchat and actually got my phone number, which is also really rare, by the way, for a girl streamer to give out her phone number. Well, at least I thought with this girl. I remember I ended up talking to her on the phone and I remember me and her, we were basically having a conversation one time where things got really deep. She was telling me about how, you know, being a girl streamer has its benefits, but also has its, well, L's. Like for example, when it comes to getting into a relationship, it's really hard to be a girl streamer and also in a relationship because when, you know, your audience for a girl streamer finds out, you know, you have a relationship, then all your simps go away because they feel like they don't have a chance. And when she was telling me this, I told her, oh yeah, I understand what you mean. And she found that really bizarre because most people would always try to like, you know, date her and want her for her body, but never for who she actually was. But for me to say that I understood what she meant kind of boggled her mind i guess she ended up telling me wait so like you actually like don't care is what she said and me i generally didn't to be honest i kind of lost interest in this girl after figuring out how much of her simps were in there but then i remember she told me like i wish i just had a guy that just understood like what i was doing like you do and then that's when i had this big brain idea obviously i wasn't gonna date this girl because well i didn't know her that well but obviously you know she was hot and we both did understand the world of content together so why not have friends with benefits meaning that you know i would get to enjoy her she would get to enjoy me and we'd just be friends that are also well having benefits <laughs> now obviously at first she was skeptical about it but then you know she knew that i understood and she wanted to actually give me a shot to this day i'll never understand why but i guess i'm thankful in some way so i remember me and her we would talk all the time we used to go to bed together we would watch shows all night just staying up on calls we, we would do so much together it's actually kind of insane i could easily say almost like 75 percent of my day was just going to talk to this girl but one thing i realized was that it seemed too good to be true you know what i mean like you know that feeling when you actually start liking the person but then it seemed like it was too good to be true yeah that's what i was kind of getting that vibe and honestly my gut has never been wrong about this kind of thing guys if you understand what i'm talking about then you you know what I mean but I remember what ended up happening was one time I decided to basically you know text her and say hey like what you doing later today she ended up telling me that she was going to like a barbecue with friends and stuff and you know this girl she had a lot of guy friends which if you read my recent stories you guys would know girls with guy friends is never a good sign but me I didn't really care because obviously no strings attached I don't care that's the thing with friends with benefits you cannot have strings attached or it's just gonna ruin the whole relationship so I remember she ends up going to this thing but when she went and she got drunk and she started drinking at this barbecue that she was at with her friends, I realized that she kept messaging me and calling me and talking to me. And me, obviously I responded because, you know, she was my friends with benefits. And also she was generally a nice person. But then she ends up FaceTiming me and telling me the weirdest thing. And this was like, by the way, like three days into our friends with benefits. She ended up calling me and she was in the bathroom. She's like, oh, like I'm hiding from everyone. Oh, okay. Like you good? Oh yeah. Like I'm totally fine. She was not fine. And then she ended up telling me, honestly, like, can I like say something? Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. What's up is what I said. She ended up saying, well, like, I don't know, like, I don't want to ruin things. And she was really hesitant on saying what she wanted to say, but I told her to just say it and it'll be off the record. You know, no strings attached, nothing will be kept and that's it. And then that's when she said, oh, like, I really like you. What is what I said? And then that's when my mind went blank. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know at all what I'm supposed to do at this moment, because obviously this is a girl streamer. She has tons of simps and everything. And she liked me of all people probably because i'm the only person that actually understood this whole content realm of life but i did not know what to say to her at all so i remember i looked at her and i said okay listen you know what just just you know figure your thing out and then just 
just go home and just go to bed and we can talk about this later. She ended up saying, uh, you know what? No, just, just forget about it. And then she ended up hanging up the phone. Now at that point, my mind was boggled. Do I actually like this girl? Do I actually want to be in a relationship with this girl? And well, I didn't know what to do because we were only friends with benefits at this point for almost four days. So obviously something was off. So on this channel, I've told stories about all the times I've done the devil's tango in public places. And I will say this much. I think this was definitely one of the most awkwardest experiences ever. And at the same time, Time, me being so young at this time and doing this was not the smartest idea but before we get into the story make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already seriously it means a lot when you guys do and let's just jump straight into this yo what is going on you guys my name's Baba and welcome back to an embarrassing story so today's story takes place back when I was in grade 9 now I won't lie to you in grade 9 I wasn't pulling girls left and right yes I had experience with women but at the same time I didn't really get into that phase of just you know doing the devil's tingle basically every week until my grade 10 year. But in grade nine, I won't lie to you, I was a real helpless romantic and any chick that I could get with, I would go with it. But I remember one time I was third wheeling with one of my friends and basically it was just him and his girlfriend and we were just all hanging out at the mall. We decided to sit at the food court and I remember when we were sitting down, his girlfriend ended up telling me, Bubba, you know what? Like you're such a nice guy. I don't know why you're like still single. You know what? I have this girl that actually might really like you and she might be good for you. You should try talking to her. Now I will I will say this. I was really desperate at that moment. So when she told me that there was an opportunity for me to meet a girl, I decided to take it and say YOLO, basically. If people still say YOLO, I don't I don't know if they do, but if you do, then uh, yeah, I YOLO'd it. So I remember I ended up basically getting her Snapchat from her and one thing led to another, I ended up DMing her. Apparently this girl already somewhat knew about me and knew about, you know, my past a little bit and how, you know, I've done some pretty dumb, embarrassing things. And apparently she was kind of already into me. I guess my friend's girlfriend already kind of hyped me up in a way. I guess that's a good thing. It's always nice to have a woman as a wing woman. I was going to say wing man, but well, they're not men, but going on. I remember from there, I ended up basically DMing her left and right. And me and her, we were just talking and going through things together and basically talking about each other. I won't lie to you. This girl was actually like pretty interesting and she was actually really nice. But then afterwards, there was the moment where she wanted to actually meet up and actually go on a proper date. Now, like I said earlier, I was in grade nine. Me going on dates wasn't really common. And to be honest, I've only dated like what, three girls my entire life. So I mean, to be fair, like I wasn't really good at dating, I guess in a way. So I remember I ended up basically telling her how I was down to like, you know, go out and maybe go on a date. She ended up asking me, oh, like, is it cool? Like if I come over to your place then? But obviously I had strict parents. So I ended up telling her, uh, no, I don't, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think my parents will let me have you over. Is there like anywhere else we could just chill? Just me and you? She ended up sending me a smiley face and then she ended up telling me her address and to meet her outside her house at like 7 PM. I don't know why she wanted to meet up after dinner. I guess it makes sense in a way, but I don't know. She wanted to meet up at 7 p.m. at the front of her place. I remember that same day, I ended up basically going to her place and one thing led to another. I just kind of stood there waiting outside her house for like 10 minutes. I was in jeans and just a normal t-shirt and then she ended up running outside in a track suit, by the way. Like she was wearing those like Lululemon leggings and she was wearing like a, like a sports bra kind of thing. And she ran up to me saying, we're going for a run. Oh, you should have told me that earlier before I came. I would have worn like, you know, sweats or something. Oh no, it's fine. We're not actually running far at this point i was really confused but then afterwards she ended up taking me for a run and we ended up running on this trail that was kind of close to her house now when we were running down this trail i remember me and her were talking and stuff and i'm gonna tell you right now running in jeans was not fun my pants were getting super sweaty in them which is really tmi but at the same time this whole channel's tmi so going on i remember as we were running though out of nowhere she ended up actually running off the trail and more into the woods and at this point i was really confused on why she was heading towards the woods like weren't we supposed to stay on the trail trail like I don't know I'm no like you know wilderness explorer but I know that maybe staying on the trail is a smarter idea than going off into the woods so as she was running into the woods I just kind of stood on the trail thinking is this a good idea and then she ended up yelling towards me saying Baba come on come into the woods what happens next well I guess I literally ended up coming into the woods I remember I was running in there with her and basically we ended up running to this log there was a log that was like basically placed there and honestly it was kind of like a romantic spot but in a way it was kind of gross knowing that there were spiders and a lot of creepy things things in the woods and I remember I ended up just sitting on the log beside her and we just started talking we started talking about like you know past 
relationships and stuff and me i'm not gonna lie to you in grade nine i didn't really like i said have much experience with women but one thing led to another out of nowhere she told me to stand up from the log and i stood up like the way i was supposed to and then she ended up standing in front of me and dropping to her knees i am not joking she just dropped right onto her knees and she decided to uh take off my yeah you know i would say more but i don't want to get you know demonetized so we're just gonna go with she ended up doing the devil's gluck so as i'm standing there getting the gluck gluck 9000 in the woods i had no idea what to do I was just kind of looking around thinking, okay, this is kind of weird. And to be honest, I don't know if I feel comfortable. And at the same time, as I was like looking at her, I'm not going to lie over time. I really just wasn't attracted to her. I started realizing how this girl was actually pretty ugly and that, you know, I'm, I'm not into her. Like I just wasn't, I know it sounds kind of mean, but at the same time, like, you know, I guess guys just get this ick randomly in a way. I, I don't know. I just got an ick. Okay. I just got an ick from her, but knowing that she was still in the middle of doing the devil's glug i ended up looking up to the sky and closing my eyes and thinking about miranda cosgrove instead to basically you know make the process go faster if you guys don't know who miranda cosgrove is basically miranda cosgrove was the girl from iCarly. yeah i guess back in grade nine i had a massive crush on miranda cosgrove aka carly because well those cheekbones holy shoot like she's fine as hell i remember like 10 minutes in later on though i ended up hearing some noise coming from the woods and me i remember i got super terrified and i heard that happen and at that moment i knew that i I didn't want to get caught with this girl while she was giving me the devil's glow so what i ended up doing was i ended up having a fight or flight situation and i had this you know growing up where basically i would choose to either fight or flight and half of the time i won't lie to you i ended up doing the one thing that i knew i was best at and that was flight which was basically running away i remember i ended up pushing her head away from my eggplant and i ended up pulling up my pants and running away while she was still on her knees by the way like i let i ran so fast like not even sonic could catch up with me i remember i ran so fast to the point where i felt like I needed to get out of there and I ended up actually sprinting all the way back home which was a 20 minute walk by the way and I remember when I got home I remember the first thing I decided to do was block her on every platform so that she wouldn't you know find me anymore and uh yeah basically that was the one time where I got the gluck gluck 9000 in the woods or as I would say on this channel the devil's gluck moral of the story be careful who you go into the woods with anyways guys that is basically it for today's story make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like I always say follow for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.